Peter Paul Rubens, 1613, 1615, Daniel in the Lion's Den. Um, this painting is, first impression would be a young man sitting in the center of the painting praying with lions all surrounding him. Uh, there's lions both sleeping, laying down, there's some in anger, different expressions for the lions. Um, they seem to be in a cave, um, light coming from the top of the cave, um, filling it. Um, there's some foliage. Um, the colors consist of yellows and golds with the bright red cloak in the center. The texture and quality of the surface is very smooth. It has blended brush strokes. Um, you also see the light coming into the cave, shining on David, and it makes like the whole cave light up, as you can see the lines. Um, he uses light and shadow to add depth into the cave. Um, the detailed lines are drawn out. It makes um, Daniel and the lions look really realistic. Um, everything is in like a contrapostal manner with Daniel leaning to his side, praying to God, and the lions like laying down in natural poses. Um, the painting is also asymmetrical, there, but there's also a balance between with the lions on each side of Daniel, and Daniel's like the focal point in the center. The size of the painting is huge. It's um, seven feet by four inches by 10 feet and 10 inches, which is comparable to an older work he did, which is the elevation of the cross, which is 15 feet and two inches by 21 feet. This painting is of an Old Testament story. Daniel, a Hebrew man who worked for a Persian king more than 2,000 years ago, he kept getting better jobs due to his efficiency. He was set up by jealous counselors and they passed a law that no one could pray to any god but only pray to the king. Daniel was uh, a very religious man and continued to pray to God. And the counselors claimed he was breaking the law. Therefore, the king had to throw him, arrest him and throw him in the cave of lions and placed a boulder in front of the entrance. The king waited all night and went to see what happened. In the morning, when he released the boulder... Daniel was there praying again and said that God stopped the lions from eating him. If going by the Bible chronologically, um, then he actually would have been over 80 years old in this painting rather than being depicted as a young man.